Hello everybody, welcome back to MLG Columbus. Coming up next on the Bravo stream, it's gonna be Fuse versus Unite Gaming. And man, this Fuse squad, they've been looking pretty good. Unite Gaming to get to where they are right now. They took out Primal, the Halo team, but Fuse, they 3-0'd Sword Gaming. And both teams, they're looking pretty good, but if I were to give you my prediction, Benson, I think Fuse at this. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's a... Uh they put in the time, they put in the effort, they've been grinding the game, they've been looking so strong in our online tournament. And 3 0 Sword Gaming, who recently won the 5K series against MV3 Zero, mm -hmm. that's no small feat. These few guys, Agreed. they are the real deal. Agreed, but that, that's a that's a bold statement. But I think it's going to be this a close is, series. But look, at, look at this Unite team, though. Mm -hmm. I but mean, th they have been struggling a little bit. They're searching to destroy. I figured that'd be you know, their best game. They have Ricky and Embos. But I can kill him. No, it just seems that their coordination, you know, it's just, okay. it, it's slacking a little bit right now. But anyways, first map of the series, you see it on your screen, Strike Zone Domination. You know how it's played. You've seen it played all weekend long. Fuse, they're spawning on the more favorite side right now. And Historic 5, well, he's using a thermal side right now. It's something we usually see in Search and Destroy. I've actually seen more and more people stop picking that up and using it in the respawn game modes as well. Not couple, a bad sight. A couple of uh, games of Blitz as well. I've mm -hmm. seen some thermal sites coming out. But the, the big thing is utilizing smoke grenades as well. Because yeah, if, if you're running thermal by yourself, uh, all right, it maybe it may improve. You may just prefer it. But smoke grenades as well, that is really the crucial thing to be running. Kicking things off with Sin, looking in the B closet, turning around at just the wrong moment. Two go down for Fuse Contestion over at the B flag. Oh, Both wow. teams were able to get their home flag, but it looks like Unite Gaming, they're going to come out and head in terms of the flags captured as they take control of B, but here comes his score five. He's going to find Embo. So one more in the back. There goes Killa, unable to pick up that kill. In fact, Killa, he's 2-0 and zero yet to die. Now, in Black Ops 2, we saw this guy dominate with the MSMC, occasionally pull out the... Uh, the AN94. And yeah. Ghost, I've seen him use strictly the AK-12, and he is a monster with it. He, he's one of those plays that he can just pick up a gun. Yeah, he's just like... And he's just like... Yeah, he could start right. with a combat knife, <laughs> finish with a Remington, and, you know, just do unbelievable things around the map. He's, he's so, so good. I, I can't really praise Killer enough. I, I personally don't think he gets enough credit. I, I that's just, That may All just right. be me. I did say... He was the number one hardpoint player in Black Ops. Too. Did you say number I, one hardpoint player? I still feel, I, since the beginning of the game till the end of the game, I still feel like that holds true. But no hard point in this game. It's domination, and you know the old game type coming back to competitive play. If you don't know how it works, you get one point every five seconds per flag you hold. So right now, Unite Gaming they have an income of 24 points a minute, but Fuse have an income of 12 points a minute as they have one flag under their control. But V flag now contend contested for. It looks like it's going to be Fuse now going ahead in the lead of total flags captured, but Unite Gaming, they have a nine-point lead. Yeah, the big thing to watch here is how Unite are going to adapt to that. They held that B flag pretty much since the start of the game, they're revving. So now are they going to cycle across towards that A flag? And if they can lock down that A flag, we've been saying it all weekend long, that B flag spawn trap. Getting out of far is so, so tough. It really does require a lot of coordination. So the thing with Fuse right now, they're holding A, they're holding B. But if you're looking at the minimap, they have nobody physically inside the B flag area. Yeah. And once you give up control of the first counter, it's going to be so tough to push in there. You have to go all the way around towards top C stairs through the B closet, or you got to fight through the hallway. It looks like they were able to defend for the time being, as uh, I'm not sure who it is. It's got to be a phase now getting control or at oh. least just gaining position, he gets stabbed in the heart and you're not going to live after that. No, you definitely know. But FaZe did well. Managed to get two kills over on that B flag. They managed to keep control of it as well, though. That's that's going to be the big thing. Yeah. And, you know, Unite now are actually behind 41 to 38. Fuse taking the lead. Damn, he just got stabbed in the medulla oblongata, Benson. and that's got to <laughs> hurt. Historic fight on your screen. One player just respawning at the C flag, but he's holding outside A flag. Now being taken over by Unite Gaming, it's going to get neutralized, but Historify, he will be able to stop them from capping it, which means it's only going to take five to capture it back. And I love the player right there, throwing a smoke grenade, forcing the players who are going to be outside, who are going to be set up out there. You see it on the minimap. Yep. They can't stay out there. If they want to take him off the flag, they have to physically push the flag. Historify is going to get a back in control of Fuse as they're going to try to pad onto their lead. Really nice play there from Historify. Dropping down, had the support of Sin as well. They neutralized the flag and then managed to cap it as well. And that's once again going to put more pressure on this Unite team. I mean, Unite only have that C flag. Normally, you know, when, it, when yeah. a team only has one, you expect it to be that B spawn trap, especially on Strike Zone. But this time, they only have that C flag. And what Fuse have done really well is making sure they're rotating and covering that A flag as well, because that's going to be the flag 
that Unite are really going to want to cap. They don't necessarily want to go for that B1 just yet because they know that if they do that, all it's going to take for Fuse to do is overextend at C, and then next thing you know, you're in a spawn track. I feel like this game in general, it's a lot of playing off of the minimap. You see where oh, yeah. the holes are, where your team is not watching, and you just try to fill in those gaps around the map. And Fuse, they've been doing that pretty well, you know, as you were saying. Always rotating into the B flag. When they spawn on the B flag, always rotating to the A, but they're putting on even more aggression onto the Knight Squad. Thing 2 doing damage from behind now as he's trying to neutralize, maybe even capture the C flag. They might get a 3 cap here, Benson. This is big, big play and it's there aggression. You go. They also have someone covering B and they have someone covering A. So that is a really, really ballsy play. You see, that's just going to take time away from Unite. Yeah. They don't mind. They can give that flag back to them, but you know, those couple of seconds, that's big, big points that Fuse are getting. Take a look at the scoreboard. Phase 16 and 9 leading the entire lobby in slang. And then his teammates, well, they're picking up the defense around the map. Right now, it's the B flag. That's a contested point around the map. Fuse, they're going to be able to stabilize as they recap that thing, too. Finds one front door. Makes quick work of Embos right there. As right now, it is a 28-point lead for Fuse. And there are four more chances for them to score. So they could go up by you know, close to 30, I believe. This is very, very impressive play from Fuse on this first side of competitive domination of EU1. New to it, we have two sides, two rounds of so five minutes each. And this is, first side is coming to an end. Just wait and see what the final score is going to be. It's going to be 94 to 67. Quick, Benson, how many points? That's that's a lot of points. 27. Is, is what that is. 27 you, points. You were sat there working that out, weren't you? I, I, I was ready to, were you, to you call ready that to out. I just wanted to see how quick you were. You were quick on your feet. I was, I was writing it down, so. Yeah, you're right. You're right. What down the scores? Okay. Yeah. I'll give you that. But it's final gotta, it's scoreboard. Gotta be, gotta be point, Revan. Phase the main slayer here, 19 and 10. But it was actually thing two. Thing two. This is his breakout game, man. Every time I watch this fuse lineup, it's always thing two on top of the leaderboard. He's 16 and 10 with two captures, but also his store fight doing the objective work. He's got three and sin. You know, he's just kind of that safety player. You know, yeah. hanging back, getting them the better spawns. Not kind of like an anchor player, but not really an anchor player. Cut. Whoa. Kind of, he's just playing safety. He's, he's, so play, he's playing, yeah, he's playing safe. He's, he's ready to rotate defense, at a moment's like notice. He's putting himself in a position around yeah. the map to, to help out, but it's just his teammates being more aggressive around the map. Now, that 27-point lead that they have. That's that's a large lead for five minutes can, of play. Can you see Unite actually coming back into this now? The thing with Strike Zone is if you get AC, if you get that cycle of kills, absolutely you could come back. But if you're holding two, your opponent holds one. Keep in mind, that's only plus 12 points a minute. Yeah. Being down by... 27, that's two Three, minutes yeah, and change. Minutes. Yeah. Wow. So it's a tall order for Unite Gaming, but if they get their proper setup going, anything can happen. Who are you really looking out for from the Unite team? Who needs to I think Saints. sort of go off? Saints, Saints is my player to watch on this team. He is unbelievable. I don't know if you've ever seen this guy play, but his breakout season was in Black Ops 1. He finished second in Breakout Player of the Year to John, who, I mean, well, he, yeah. he was <laughs> number one in pro points for a good amount of time. But... Regardless, Saints, he is just an animal, and he's going to be the player we're watching at the start of the second side here in Strike Zone Domination. If you're just joining us now, it's Unite Gaming versus Fuse. Fuse just took the first side by 27 points, but it's a best of five series, as always, in the championship bracket. Who do you want to start on board with, Reverend? I just told you. You want to, you want to start with Saints? Yes, I want to Definitely. watch Saints. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we'll start with Saints then. And, you know... <laughs> In terms of the strategy, they really have to be aggressive off the bat. Yeah. They can't afford to to not cap their home flag, which we've seen a couple of teams actually mess up on. You know, they've, they've tried to be aggressive going onto that C flag and completely forgotten about A. Next thing you know, they haven't got a single flag at all. So I'm looking for Saints just to play a little safe two plays. They've actually gone for a 2 2 split, so two can like be it. very aggressive on C. They need to make it count, although Killer just kind of waited for his teammate to die there before he did anything. Hitmarker on the grenade as well. Jumps down. Should be able to at least neutralize this flag, but they have lost that B flag. But that should be an issue now because if they play this smart, you, know, you made this point. There's only three exits to that bar area, four players per team. He's going to cap it. He's okay. got it. There you now go. they need one set of kills. If they get this first cycle, then Fuse are trapped inside the B flag, and they know it. They know that they're about to be trapped inside. You're going to see all four players sack out of one area of the map. And there you go. That's all four down for Fuse. But Unite Game looks like they're they pushing. Pushed. They're spawning they're out. Pushed. They're spawning outside on the map. I'm not too sure why, why they, they did they that. Push that? They, got they split counted one. for the two outside. They counted for the two outside. It's a huge play. Kill. I think he's being a bit too aggressive inside the kitchen, but it looks like they're still spawning inside the bar. You see their setup around the map. They had the closet covered. They had the hallway covered, and they had the front exit covered. There goes Killer now. Who's this on the rotation? Embo's watching front door. It's going to be Ricky. 
big kills big from the plays. He needs to pick up these two kills as one. Can he find the second? His teammate does it, and they are continuing this pressure. There is nothing Fuse can do to get out of this more trap right now. Unite a plane is perfect, but someone has managed to escape. He's over between the A and the C flag. Just going to see if he can hold that spawn down. But he needs to be careful because as soon as he hops on that flag, that's going to give away his position. Fuse are breaking out. They're going for both home flags. They're capturing A. They're capturing C. And what was looking like a great setup for Unite Gaming, all of a sudden, they're spread out across the map. They're losing flags here and there. Fuse, they were able to secure a home flag, but Unite Gaming, they still have two flags to their name. So they're still going to be cutting into the deficit that they currently face. And you know, they're up by 10 points. Which means it's only a 17 point lead for Unite Gaming. That's right, for, for Fuse. They have an extra 3 minutes 15 to try and cut this deficit down. Well, they haven't realized is Fuse currently have someone in this B flag area. It's actually Sin, and he's being a very sneaky little beaver right now. Just wait until he gets a little bit of support. Actually, uh -oh. fired his gun there. I, I'm not too sure about that. But Unite are going to just let go him now. be. Now he's going to actually go for it. There's going to be two plays to the left. Throw the grenade. Go go it, go it, go it. Oh. Right, throws that grenade. A half a second earlier could potentially pick up that kill, but. It's going to be Unite Gaming holding on to beat. You see there's up across the map. And in fact, who did I say to look out for? You said Saints. All he's right, not, who's he's going big? One. Ricky also as well, 8-1. Yeah, you got to give him are, credit. Yeah, you know, uh, it's great if you have one player set up, s step up. Even better if you have two. Not only have they only died one time, they have to be on some sort of killing spree right now, which means oh, yeah. they're becoming the super soldier that they are. Getting more. Oh, my God. See, three on the flag, only able to pick up one. Good flag sack by Fuse as they take control of C, but in return, they're going to lose A. They've managed to cut the deficit down to just eight points. This is a good little trade-off for Unite. They don't mind losing that C flag because they managed to cap the A flag. The big flag to watch out for is going to be the B flag. Now, if Fuse are able to get it, I expect Unite to immediately rotate towards that Charlie flag and try and get that spawn trap we saw earlier on completely back into play because with two minutes left, Unite, they're going to be taking the lead very, very soon. Sneaky Beaver thing too, going behind enemy lines here in the beat. Area oh. gets shut down from Ricky Historic Fight. Last one live trying to neutralize the A flag. And if you are on fuse right now, you're starting to panic. Look at the amount of kills they have. Face Historic Fight instant combining for seven oh my total God, kills. I just realized that is Ricky ridiculous. has died one time. That's it. He's only died once this entire game, and he has three caps as well. This is fantastic play coming from Unite Ricky. He's going to hop straight back on that B flag. One minute 27, Revan, and this is looking very, very good for Unite on the comeback. Unite Gaming, they just tied the game up, and they're in a good position right now. A flag just got neutralized. They're going to try to get that back under their control. And now, Feuds, it's them trying to set up the AC control, trying to spawn trap Unite back in that B flag area over near the bar. A flag currently contested. Ricky just died for the second time in the game. He's human, guys. He's not going to be a super soldier for much longer. But now, Fuse, look at the position they're in. Under a minute to play, they have AC control, and Unite Gaming, they're spawning inside the bar. They have such a fragile lead at this point. It's only around about two points now. And Unite, they need to cap an extra flag. They only have B, but they're not being spawn trapped. In fact, they are they being are. spawn trapped now. Yeah. That was unfortunate. Just as I said, I thought someone was going to break out, but they are not being allowed out. Fuse have them locked in their base. There is nothing Unite can do. And that's such a shame. It looked like yeah. Unite were going to be able to take this. A minute ago, these bottom three players combined for seven kills. They're all starting to step up in the slaying department as it looks like Fuse. They might be able to hold on in this game. Face, he's going to get a bit aggressive over near the B flag. Finds one. There goes Killa. If he neutralizes his flag, I think it's going to be over. There he's going to cap 66. it. There's no one in position. That's unfortunate plays. They're going to take that B flag and Fuse are going to yeah, go ahead over. and take game number one in this best of five. You actually call Fuse. You said Fuse is going to take this. I did. You didn't believe me. I didn't believe you. I thought you'd been, uh, well, dreaming. But they did 3 0 saw. A lot of people said yeah. you know, saw could actually take this. Golden Boy as well actually they were looking them to great. win. They were looking so solid, but Fuse, they put in the practice, man. They've been grinding the game. This is the team. Everyone's like, well, you know, they're performing very well online, but they're not going to get top eight, and they're out here to prove many people wrong. Despite a great performance by both Saints and Ricky, just wasn't enough at the end there. Fuse hang on to their lead as they take map one in the best of five series. Really, really nice play coming from them. And now this is going to be the big thing from my perspective. How is this Unite team going to react to that? They have very reactant and volatile players at times, you know, players that can lose their head. This is going to be big. Are they going to be able to stay composed and keep their heads in the game, or are they going to lose it and, and potentially just No, the just thing is, Benson, Search and Destroy is Fuse's best game type. Really? They are Ooh. so well-versed, so well-practiced, and they are looking like one of the best S&D teams as it stands right now in this game. And okay. that's going to be the next map. It's going to be tough for Unite. 
Well, it's going to be very tough indeed. But guys, we're going to go to a quick commercial break and we'll be right back with you with some search and story action.